Hello everyone! So today I have a somewhat short build for you where I use the uh, new uh, Castle Estate uh, kit and I've wanted to get something out to you guys using this. Um, I'm actually pretty excited about it. However, <laughs> There are some issues, um, but I did this smaller build uh, just to kind of get something out and play with the pack a little, a little bit before I started doing um, anything crazy with it. So I decided that I would do Rapunzel's Tower, and this is going to be a vacation rental lot, and it is designed as a vacation rental lot. Um, now, that being said, if you really want to live here, have at it. Uh, it's, it's kind of small, it's kind of awkward, and because you have to use a ladder to get up to the main floor, it, it's a long climb, okay? So, uh, that being said, that's my, you know, disclaimer. So, anyway, um, what... I absolutely love about this pack is the stone. Um, I think this mossy stone is probably my favorite swatch and I am seeing that from a lot of other simmers. Um, yeah, that, that right there I'm going to use in quite a bit of different things. So, uh, you know, if, if you're a builder in the sims, this is a decent pack. Um, to have more options. That being said, as you can see, I had to add this nice little flat area for the door. Um, and these windows were the only ones I could use on the rounded part. So I'm very disappointed, actually, that the windows and doors for a castle kit don't work on round walls. Okay, I'm hoping it was an oversight, but yeah, that they need to go through and fix that. A castle, you know, a lot of castles have round walls. So yeah, I would definitely like to see a fix for that, but it is a kit, so we'll see what happens there. All right, so anyway, we'll get back to the build. That's pretty much, you know, my opinion of this pack is everything else is, I mean, very nice, very pretty. But if you look, I had to use, I think this was growing together or, yeah, it might have been growing together windows. I can't remember. Um, or the four rent pack. Maybe it was from the four rent pack that I had to use those windows. Now, that being said, they're not base game. And if you don't have the four rent pack, I don't know what. It, the game's going to replace them with um so you might have to play around a little bit with that if uh you don't own that pack now the other thing is you know rounded walls and the way i did the rounded walls <laughs> created some interesting little dilemmas um i have play tested this the final build works really well the only thing I forgot to play test was a uh, potty bush that I put in a corner, um, but it should work. Um, it's more of if I put it in the right spot to actually be able to get to it. So you might have to move that um, if it doesn't work. But here I had to put this little like alcove thing in and what I'm creating here is a bathroom. Uh, the rest of it is very open. Uh, there's no uh, wall between the bed area and the rest of the space. And it works. I, again, it's a rental. It's supposed to be maybe like a cute little, you know, honeymoon spot. Or if you want family, um, you know, the parents can stay here. The kids can sleep in a tent down you know, on the ground. Um, you know, there's some options. There is room if you want to bring sleeping bags and just have everybody sleep up here. And I did make sure to do that in case there was a thunderstorm. So 
I wanted to make sure there was some room. And you'll also see I play quite a bit with the uh, kitchen layout a little bit here. And I say kitchen lightly. It, it's not very big. It's not supposed to be. Again, you're on vacation, okay? But it's there. It's available. I also do quite a bit outside. And there's a little grill area available there, too. So, again, as I said, I did play test this. And I ended up putting a shower in that little alcove in the bathroom. And it works, so we're all good there. Um, the one thing, just while I'm thinking about it, I wanna point out is that uh, the bed, I had to add some things to it. And yeah, it. Um, <laughs> I, I went to have my Sim sleep in it and she got out on the other side and then, you know, wouldn't get back to where I could get her out the door. So I just put a table and some cute stuff there and it blocks it. Works just like a wall. So no issues there. But if you do run into where'd my sim go, maybe um, that might be where an issue might be. But I think I fixed it. So anyway, now I'm just kind of doing some landscaping. And this part does change a little bit too. Um, I really wanted just to kind of have a very overgrownish, whimsical type look, but not too crazy I mean this is supposed to be a somewhat realistic tower um you know it's not like a fairy tower or anything like that um it's Rapunzel's tower so yes it's a fairy tale but you know it's got to be somewhat realistic the only thing I hate is I couldn't figure out any way to make the um two lower levels of the tower kind of blend in better with the upper level so that looks a little funky, but, uh, you know, it, it's not horrible. Once I get the trees in there, it kind of helps quite a bit. All right, so the other thing with this is I really wanted it to have a lot of things to do outside. And again, you know, playing on the whimsical look, I added in quite a bit of like the mushrooms and stuff from Cottage Living, because this is in the Cottage Living world. Um, if you're not sure where this lot is, it is the one by the waterfall because I thought that would be the perfect spot for something like this. And it really did turn out to be. Now building in this lot, that's a whole different story. But yeah, it really turned out cute. So here I am just kind of adding like a fire pit, a little cooler down here, some activities. I did put a tent right there as more of a marker. I do remove that later on. Um, but it's there, it fits in that section, and there's room next to it for another tent as well. Um, I think I put a, uh, um, I just blanked on the name of it, uh, a telescope. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, a telescope over in that corner, um, but, you know, easily moved for to put a tent. So now I'm just kind of figuring out, you know, how to make this look it's best um, and you see I removed those trees and I think that helped quite a bit I add in a couple of yeah bushes here and yeah it really helps create a better more cohesive look than the other ones I don't know they just didn't quite I, I think they look too formal to me um, so replace those and just adding in some extra little stuff here um, trying to figure out what I want to do with this uh, you know the the hot springs here i wanted like a path but i didn't want to use the you know just the terrain paint um i end up using the terrain paint <laughs> i just couldn't figure out anything i liked right there that worked with you know the surrounding so now i'm just kind of going through adding in things here and there to make it look like it's you know in the world um and just getting some more little like you know fun stuff put in the you know more uh, landscaping some flowers just to kind of make it look a little overgrown and um rustic i also do put in a small little garden area in case you do want to play this as you know you're here for like a week and maybe you're doing off the grid you have some uh some garden space you can put some plants in 
um, and that'll be put in eventually. Here I'm just kind of trying to make it blend in a little bit more with the world so it doesn't look like this, you know, lot that's uh, plopped here and doesn't work. So that is great. You know, if you're a builder or just starting out building, debug is your best friend. And it's pretty easy to get into. Um, I, I haven't done it in a while, so I can't think of it right off the top of my head. Uh, I have the uh, uh, Better Build by mod, so that does it for me. But um, I'll put it in the description below on how you can get into that if you need that information. So here too, I wanted the bunnies and the birds, so I added those in as well. Um, and here's the gardening spot. And now I'm just kind of, you know, looking around, figuring out what else I might need or want. Um, I believe I still have to put some lighting in, so that's going to happen. All right. And then here, I, I had gone down before because I just wasn't sure what else I wanted to do up here yet. So now I'm back to it and just kind of figuring out all of the decor and... You know, what else we can do up here? So you can see I added that bookshelf in the living space, some plants up here, and it's more of what can they do? There is no TV. I did not put a TV in here because, you know, rustic camping, okay? <laughs> I know. You have a fridge and a, you know, little stove up here. It's not like it's completely rustic. Um, so if you want to take this off the grid, you might want to, you know, remove those because they won't work. Um, but yeah, so here just kind of trying to fill in the space a little bit, add a few things here and there, get a rug in so that it, you know, a little bit more cozy. I did use the stone, um, tile that came with the castle pack, um, because I thought it fit. I, uh, I, I mean, it's a small build. I think it works. We're going to say the whole thing stone and go from there. So... Uh, the other thing, this does use multiple packs. Uh, I use a lot of Realm of Magic in this one. Um, the bed, the rug, I think uh, at least the one chair. Um, just because it fits. It, it really fits well in this pack. And I think that's one of the reasons we didn't get as much fern like any furniture with this. Is There's actually a lot that's already in-game if you own multiple packs that would work. Now, the problem would be if you don't own multiple packs, but there's a couple of base game things that could work. Um, you just probably won't be able to build an entire castle, but maybe a small, a small little thing. All right, so now just kind of finishing things up. I hated this roof. I knew the whole time I hated that roof, and now it was me just kind of figuring out what I can do with it. And I decided to go this route where we have like a little fence area. I put some plants up there. So we're going to pretend that, you know, somebody reaches out that window there and waters them. Um, originally, I kind of wanted that to be a bigger window, but you can't do it with the castle windows. So we're just going to pretend. All right. So that is the build. And let's take a look at the inside and a little on the outside. All right, guys, and here's a look at it at night just because I like it. All right, I did forget to point out, I put a small um, bathroom on the bottom level, uh, just in case you didn't want to use the, the bush outside and didn't want to climb that ladder all the way up. So there is a small bathroom on the bottom level, too. All right, so I do hope you guys enjoyed this build. I actually had a lot of fun with this. Let me know in the comments below if you are going to download this and play with it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. All right, so... 
I was able to get my trailer park build done, so that will be Friday's video. I'm very excited for you guys to check it out, so make sure to like this video and subscribe so you get informed when that one goes live on Friday. Alright, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye now.